Good morning and welcome back Cobras. I'm Olivia Martin and I'm Kaylee Davidson coming to you from the Cobra Den News Studio. Today is March 13th and here's your Cobra News for the week. I'm Jackson bringing you the joke of the week. I once heard a song about Tortilla, but it's more of a rap. I'm Eliana Martin and I'm Alexandra Sitter bringing you this week's lunch menu. Here's what's on the menu for this week. Today is home style chicken nuggets or pizza. Tuesday is cheese pocket or nacho grande. Wednesday is chicken tetrazzini or pizza. Thursday is tasty BBQ pork rib or pizza. And Friday is pizza or sloppy joe. This sounds delicious. Now to what's happening this week at Kirkwood Middle School. This is Alexandra Suter and Olivia Martin with the Cobra Effects. Your book is sponsoring a St. Patrick's Day dance this Friday, March 17th from 2.30 to 4.30. Tickets are $5 each and a photo booth will be available for $1. March 19th is the last day to order your Kirkwood Crazy Spirit Wear shirt. The fundraiser was shared through homework, communications, and on social media. Kirkwood wrapped up their first Black History Month celebration with that last round of trivia questions before spring break. Congratulations to Zoe Childress from 6th grade Orange House for correctly answering the trivia question. How many gold medals did Wilma Rudolph win in track and field at a single Olympics? The answer was three and she won her favorite snack, jelly pictures. And congratulations to Ms. Sanchez for correctly answering the staff trivia question. What other sports what other sport did Wilma Rudolph participate in outside of track? The answer was basketball, and Ms. Sanchez won a $25 Amazon gift card. Thank, Thank you for everyone who participated in our weekly trivia question. I'm Shania. And I'm Trinity, bringing you on this day in history. On March 13th, 1949, a plot to kill Hitler by German officers failed as a bomb aboard his plane failed to explode due to a faulty detonator. On March 14, 1879, Albert Einstein was born in Germany. His theory of relativity led to new ways of thinking about time, space, matter, and energy. He received a Nobel Prize in 1921. On March 15, 44 BC, Julius Caesar was assassinated in the Senate chamber. On March 16, 1802, the United States Military Academy at West Point was originally founded as a training center for U.S. Corps of Engineers. And on March 17th of the year 180, Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius died at the age of 58. This is Jackson with the word of the week. The word of the week is tantamount. Tantamount means and means equivalent value, significance, or effect. Tantamount is sometimes confused with paramount, which means superior to all others. I'm Eliana Martin. And I'm Kaylee Davidson. Now to this week's National Celebration Days. Today, March 13th, is National Mapping Day. Tuesday, March 14th, is National Pi Day. Pi Day is an annual celebration of a mathematical sign pi, founded in 1988 by physicist Larry Shaw. March 14th was selected because the numerical date 3.14 represents the first three digits of pi. Wednesday, March 15th, is National Equal Pay Day. Thursday, March 16th, is National Panda Day. And Friday, March 17th, is St. Patrick's Day. You better wear your green. Cheyenne and Jackson with the Cobra Spotlight. This week's Cobra Spotlight is the upcoming performance for Window for Murder, the first play of production at Kirkwood Middle School. Audience members will be entertained by the, by the touch of British flavor in this entertaining Sherlock Holmes spoof. The world-famous private detective Burton Everhart III has been summoned to the straightforward estate of Benedict to investigate the death of Colonel Strip. But before the night ends, a blood calling scream shakes the estate. With a colorful cast, including a bunny slipper wearing butler and a quirky nephew, the last one. If I were to describe this play, I would describe it as twisted, exciting, and devious. If I had described this play in three words, I would say fascinating, comical, and brilliant. If I were to describe this play, I'd describe it as mysterious, ambitious, and hilarious. If I were to describe this play in three words, I'd use superb, dedicated, and intriguing. If I were to describe this play, I would describe it as fascinating, funny, and entertaining. 
If I were to describe this play in three words, I would de describe it as eventful, sarcastic, and hysterical. The play will be performed at 6 p.m. on March 30th and 31st, and tickets will be $5 at the door. This is Cheyenne, and this is Trinity, with your weekly trivia. The answer to last week's trivia question, what is the average lifespan of a king cobra, is 20 years. This week's trivia question is, which planet has the largest ocean? Thank you for watching the Cobra News. We'll see you again next week. Don't yet. Don't end it yet. I want to do something for Cobra News. Don't end it yet. Okay. Good job, Miss Sanchez.